has promised us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And in Christ, he has revealed his faithfulness to us from the beginning of time. In Genesis, Jesus is the ram on Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is the high priest. In Numbers, he is the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the city of our refuge. In Joshua, he is the scarlet thread on Rahab's window. In Judges, he is our judge. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra, he is our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of everything that is broken. In Esther, he is the Mordecai who faithfully sits by the gate. In Job, he is the Redeemer who ever liveth. In Psalms, he is the Good Shepherd and I shall not be in want. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In Song of Songs, he is our beautiful bridegroom. In Isaiah, he is our suffering servant. In Jeremiah and Lamentations, it is Jesus who is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he is the fourth man in the midst of the fiery furnace. In Hosea, he is my love, for he is ever faithful. In Joel, he baptizes us with the Holy Spirit. In Amos, he is our burden bearer. In Obadiah, he is our savior. In Jonah, he is a great foreign missionary who takes the word of God to the whole world. In Micah, he is the, be- he is the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he is the avenger. In Habakkuk, he is the watchman, ever praying for revival. In Zephaniah, he is the Lord mighty to save. In Haggai, he is the restorer of the lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is our fountain. In Malachi, he is the Son of Man with healing in his wings. In the New Testament, in Matthew, thou art the Christ. In Mark, he is our miracle worker. In Luke, he is the Son of Man. In John, he is the door by which everyone must enter. In Acts, he is the shining light that appeared to Saul on the road to Damascus. In Romans, he is a justifier. In 1 Corinthians, he is our resurrection. In 2 Corinthians, he is our sin bearer. In Galatians, he redeems us from the law. In Ephesians, he is our unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he supplies all our needs. In Colossians, he is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In First and Second Thessalonians, he is our soon coming King. In First and Second Timothy, he is the mediator between God and man. In Titus, he is our blessed hope. 
In Philemon, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he is the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, in James is the Lord who heals the sick. In Peter, he is our chief shepherd. In Jude, he is the Lord coming with 10,000 saints. In Revelation, lift up your eyes, church, for he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen.